Hi parents, hi boys and girls. Um, I wanted to welcome you to a new little video series I'm going to be doing while our schools are closed. Um, it's just some things that I wanted to show you, um, like our caterpillars that are growing, and I might read some books. We might do some practice on math or some letters or anything like that. Um, I just wanted to help y'all keep up with your studies and parents give you some ideas of things to do at home. Um, today, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be reading a book. Um, this book is called Officer Buckle and Gloria. This is one of my favorite books. This was actually my book when I was little. Um, this is a book about a police officer and his police dog. And his police dog is very, very special. And you'll see how special in the book. Now, my boys and girls, we've read this book before. You may or may not remember. It's been a long time. The author of this book is Peggy Rathman. Don't forget, the author writes the book. The illustrator does the what? The pictures. That's right. So let's go ahead and get started. Officer Buckle and Gloria. <clears throat> Officer Buckle knew more safety tips than anyone else in Napville. Every time he thought of a new one, he thumbtacked it to his bulletin board. Safety tip number 77, never stand on a swivel chair. Or what do you think will happen? You'll fall. Officer Buckle shared his safety tips with the students at Napville School. Nobody ever listened, and sometimes there was snoring. Afterwards, it was business as usual. Mrs. Topple, the principal, took down the welcome banner. Never stand on a swivel chair, said Officer Buckle, but Mrs. Topple didn't hear him. Then one day, Natville's police department bought a police dog named Gloria. When it was time for Officer Buckle to give the safety speech at the school, Gloria went along. Children, this is Gloria, announced Officer Buckle. Gloria obeys my commands. Gloria, sit. And Gloria sat. Officer Buckle gave safety tip number one, keep your shoelaces tied. The children sat up and stared. Why are they staring? What are they staring at? Are they staring at Gloria? Do dogs usually stand up on their hind legs and point their finger? I don't think so. Officer Buckle checked to see if Gloria was standing at attention. She was. <clears throat> Safety tip number two, said Officer Buckle. Always wipe up spills before someone slips and falls. The children's eyes popped. Officer Buckle checked on Gloria again. Good dog, he said. Then Officer Buckle thought of a safety tip that he had discovered that morning. Never leave a thumbtack where you might sit on it. The audience roared. Officer Buckle grinned. He said the rest of the tips with plenty of expression. The children clapped their hands and they cheered and some of them laughed until they cried. Officer Buckle was surprised. He never noticed how funny his safety tips could be. After this safety speech, there wasn't a single accident. Why do you think the kids were so excited? Look at what Gloria's doing. She's so funny. Looks like she's acting out all of the things that Officer Buckle is saying. The next day, an enormous envelope arrived at the police station. It was stuffed with thank you notes from the students at Natville School. Every letter had a drawing of Gloria on it and Officer Buckle thought the drawing showed a lot of imagination. His favorite letter was written on a star-shaped piece of paper, and it said, 
You and Gloria make a good team. Your friend Claire. P.S. I always wear a crash helmet. Safety tip number seven. Officer Buckle was thumbtacking Claire's letter to his bulletin board when the phone started ringing. Grade schools, high schools, and daycare centers were calling about his safety speech. Officer Buckle, they said, our students want to hear your safety tips. And please, bring along that police dog. Everybody wants to meet Gloria, don't they? <coughs> Officer Buckle told his safety tips to 313 schools. Everywhere he and Gloria went, the children sat up and listened. Look at that. After every speech, Officer Buckle took Gloria out for ice cream. He loved having a buddy. Then one day, a television news team videotaped Officer Buckle in the State College Auditorium. Wow, look at all those people. Looks like a lot of people are going to see the safety speech today. When he finished safety tip number 99, don't go swimming during electrical storms, the students jumped to their feet and clapped. Bravo, bravo, they cheered. Officer Buckle bowed again and again and again. <coughs> Please excuse my coughing. I have a little bit of allergies right now. It's not the virus. It's just allergies. That night, Officer Buckle watched himself on the 10 o'clock news. Uh-oh. Did Officer Buckle know that Gloria was doing all of that stuff behind him? No, he didn't. But then when he watched himself on the TV, I bet he was able to see. The next day, the principal of Knapville School telephoned the police station. Good morning, Officer Buckle. It's time for our safety speech. Officer Buckle frowned. I'm not giving any more speeches. Nobody looks at me anyway. Oh, said Mrs. Topple. Well, how about Gloria? Could she come? <coughs> Someone else from the police station gave Gloria a ride to the school. Gloria sat on stage looking lonely and then she fell asleep. So did the audience. After Gloria left, Natville School had its Biggest accident ever. Oh no. I don't know what's going to happen. It all started with a puddle of banana pudding. Splat! Splatter! Sploosh! Everyone slid smack into Mrs. Topple, who screamed and let go of her hammer. Oh, no. The next morning, a pile of letters arrived at the police station. Every letter had a drawing of the accident. Officer Buckle was shocked. At the bottom of the pile was a note written on a paper star. Officer Buckle smiled. The note said, Gloria missed you yesterday. Your friend Claire. P.S. Don't worry, I was wearing my helmet. Safety tip number seven. Gloria gave Officer a Buckle a big kiss on the nose. Officer Buckle gave Gloria a nice pat on the back. Then Officer Buckle thought of his best safety tip yet. Safety tip number 101, always stick with your buddy. And that's the end. What a good book. What was your favorite part? I think my favorite part was when he said, uh, never swim in electrical storms. And then you saw Gloria going up in the air. I thought that was pretty funny. I hope you enjoyed our story today, Officer Buckle and Gloria. Um, keep tuned in 
and uh, you'll see some more stories and I'll show some other stuff to do and I'll give you some ideas of things you can do at home. But um, for now, I love you all. Boys and girls, be good. Listen to your moms and dads. Uh, make sure you're following directions and you're reading and writing and just really, really working on everything you need to work on. I love you so much. I'll see you later.